All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So it is time to talk about it. It is time to talk about the Pixel Fold from Google, the cameras. Now, this has always been a strong suit for Pixel devices and Pixel owners. They have that bragging right of real, authentic photos that are genuinely done from a device and it processes them great. Now, I'm not saying that these are the best photos that you'll ever see on a device, but I will say that Google always wins the awards for taking photos. Their AI system in here is just incredible the way it processes and gives you back the image. So, and real quickly, you guys have been asking about this case. This is the Pataka case right here. Uh, and this lens protector is from Whitestone Dome. And then also have a Whitestone Dome protector on the front. I'll leave links to everything in the description down below so you can check that out. But let's get on to the discussion of the cameras. So. The first thing I did was I fired up every camera. So this phone has a, a rear camera, an inner display camera, and a front glass camera when you have the device closed. And I took a photo from all three of these and I thought, can I really tell the difference in quality? Just by a little bit, folks. So um, I, I was impressed so much that I actually forgot which one took the photo. So normally when you have a device with an inner display camera, we all know that there have been other devices that tried to do an under display inner screen uh, camera and it just was not good. So we have to go to what works, which is just having the camera hole open. So Google decided to thank goodness, not take the under display version of a camera for the inner display on their first attempt. So I wanna reference this video by saying for a folding device, it really doesn't matter that it's a folding device at this point because the cameras that they're using obviously are great. So I took a test and I took a, a photo from all three cameras and I couldn't tell the difference after I took them. And even as I sit right now, you're going to say, well, Jay, which is which? Um, I, I, I think they all look really close in quality and they're all phenomenal. So no matter which photo you're using, which camera you're using to take a photo, you're going to get a stellar shot no matter what situation you're in. Now, when you first fire up a selfie or a portrait shot, the phone will realize that you're trying to take a selfie and it's going to tell you, hey, why don't you use the rear camera? Because that's where you'll get your best. We'll get your best shot. And so I did that. But then I said, you know, OK, that's all I want to try all the cameras and trying all the cameras in these different scenarios. You really it's hard to tell which is which you'd have to label them to determine, okay, this was taken by the inner display. This was taken by the rear display. This was taken by the outer display. It, it, the, the, the phone just, just has great cameras. So I work out every day and I decided to take a walk on the trail and I took this phone with me, obviously. And I was just walking as I was filming and I was taking lots of photos and I, I'm just not going to lie to you. I was super impressed with the stability. We're talking about 4K 60. Now it's not, I just have to show it to you. It's, it's unbelievable how great this quality is. And some of these shots, I was at a range walk uh, because I was exercising. So you really wouldn't be able to tell that I was at a range walk based on what you're looking at here in this portion of this video. You can't tell that. And if you don't know what a range walk is, I'm gonna need you to Google it, pun intended, <laughs> Google. So. Um, yeah, a range walk is a pretty brisk, fast walk, borderline jogging or a slight run. So with me uh, trying to get my heart rate up, I said, you know, sometimes I'll do a really, I'll do like a 20 or 30 minute range walk. And this device held its own. I mean, you, you see the footage of what I'm talking about. It's just great quality. It's not, not even just the stability, just the quality itself. I was extremely impressed. I, I wasn't thinking that I was going to not be impressed, but I was hoping that it was stellar. Uh, and in my experience of, of walking with the device, even running sometimes, uh, which I very seldom run, uh, but you know, I, I just felt like this quality was just top notch, man. It, it competes with all the current devices and does some things better, especially in the photo section. Now, when it comes to recording with this camera, the number one question that people keep talking about is, oh, is it overheating? Is it overheating? Those chips are known to overheat. I haven't had any issues with any of my pixels since the Pixel 6. Pretty much that was the end of the era for me of overheating. I, and I've proven this time and time again. Some people keep commenting about, uh, or it's been proven and documented that it overheats. That's just not, if you're in a, and I'm in a place where it's super, the humidity outside is 115 folks. So I'm in a place where I know it's going to be hot and the device has to heat up. However, this device has never overheated 
And I really don't anticipate it in overheating on me because in a control setting indoors, I got my AC on 75, it's cool. My house is insulated, so it's freezing in here. But outside, the humidity is about 112 to 115 in a lot in most of the day. And it says it's like, it'll say like it's 95, but feels like 102. Or some days it was 104 and felt like 114. It's blazing hot outside. And on the day that I was walking, it was actually late in the day and it was still super hot outside. So I can guarantee you from where I sit, all the claims that the Tensor chip has been documented to overheat. Let me tell you something, every phone can crash and overheat. My iPhones have frequently crashed and overheated at some point or another, but that I'm not holding that against the iPhone. Every This can happen to any phone. If you put any device under load, this can happen. But I think that that stab at, at Pixel devices is played out at this point. And I really feel like I'm just going to show you the quality. And it's better if you just buy your own. Like these videos that you see on the camera review and the device itself, it's not to sway you in any kind of way. It's just giving you the now when it comes to pictures, I don't edit pictures or anything like that. I don't get into in the depth of field. And I, I don't do all that, man, because real people don't talk like that. Real consumers do not get their phone out and take a photo and start saying, ooh, the processing speed on that. They, they don't do it. Son. They just take a photo and say, ooh, that looks good. And they send it to whoever or they post it on social media. It's just simply put, you know, but the quality of the Pixel devices has has superseded. It, it has gone way and beyond what anybody could have imagined. And I guess if I could change anything on the Pixel devices, uh, as far as cameras go, I don't know, man. I, I really don't have anything to complain about. I would like to be able to, I don't have anything to complain about. I, I like the Pixel cameras. And it's not even that I just like this phone's cameras. I like the Pixel's cameras because they compete. They are more than enough to please nearly everyone on the market when it comes to taking a photo. Photos is, is kind of like a neutral playing field. Any phone can be compared next to any phone when you want to take photos. It doesn't matter if it's $200 or $500 or $1,000 versus a $150 phone. I've done it multiple times in blind camera tests, and you guys always pick a Pixel most of the time. And sometimes you're picking the more affordable Pixel, killing all my phones that are $1,500 and stuff like that. So when it comes to photos on a Google Pixel device, I mean, the Pixel Fold is no exception. It, it is a really good, solid, solid set of cameras. All the cameras on this device have proven to me that they are worthy to be in the space of current devices. So if you're worried about shooting video and it overheating, I don't know what it's going to be like for you. I can guarantee you that from where I sit and in my 115 degree humidity weather, this phone has not overheated at not one time. Not one time. I've even taken some of my other phones, my Pixels 7 Pro and 7 and 5, 7A, all of them. And going forward, seven, the 7 Series, I put all of those under load and none of them overheated. I've recorded like 30, 45 minute videos. None of them overheated. And I don't anticipate this device overheating either. I'll even do another follow-up video recording from the device. I'll even shoot video with the device. I, t I tend to do this now. This isn't a phone I'm using right now. This is my Sigma setup on my Sony camera, but still, uh, you know, I I'll shoot that type of video with the phone because that's what I normally do when I do a camera review. But I mean, I just wanted to talk about this phone because I think if you're on the fence about one thing, like there's a lot of people who say, well, I'm going to wait for the, for the Pixel Fold 2. And I'm gonna, that doesn't exist, folks. Either you're going to buy the device for whatever reason or you're not going to buy it. I'm not going to try to sway you either way to buy it or not to buy it. But, you know, sometimes I'll put up five reasons to buy, 10 reasons to buy, 10 reasons not to buy, stuff like that. That's just for entertainment purposes, in my opinion. And at this point, my opinion is to all the people that are that are saying they're on the fence, but you're still harping on the price being 1800 it's not for you. Just keep it pushing. But don't you know? Just just get something else. Don't don't do it. If you're if if the price is the only thing holding you back, that means it's not the device for you. Because when you're into something or you want to find out how good something is, you, you look at the price for a minute and you complain for a little bit, or give your opinion about it for a little bit, and then you move on. You, you just you got you got to move on. Either you're gonna get it or you're not gonna get it. So I'm the type of person that I don't waste a lot of time. Uh, unfortunately. There is a 14 
14 day return policy. Now you probably saying, Jay, what you mean? Unfortunately, that's good, right? Well, it's unfortunate that that's what's going to be done with this device. And those devices are getting wasted by some people out there just buying them while other consumers uh, could have theirs and they bought it only to return it. That's unfortunate. That's why I say that there's a lot of people out there that are going to buy this device and they're, they're getting it just to get their shine on because right now folks as great as these cameras are as great as the software is as great as the hardware is as great as the pixel fold is right now with a few shortcomings and i have come up with a few shortcomings and i will be bringing that to you in another video as great as it is with the one or two things that possibly might, might need to be changed this device is a hot topic and you're going to see a lot of content on it anytime a new device comes out in the creative world or in the in youtube space you're going to see a lot of people talking about it, whether they have it or not. So I think you should lean heavily towards the person you're watching and making sure they have a foundation about what they're talking about. Because if you have a person with these clickbait videos saying the cameras is trash, iPhone user switches to those are all fake videos. Folks. It's, just get, it's just to get you engaged. When I say fake, I mean, the person might be genuine in what they're saying, but you're not going to get any authenticity there because their pro self is all whatever they said, Apple, Samsung, whatever. So. When it comes to cameras, don't let anybody talk to you, talk you out of getting the Pixel Fold just because you think it's going to overheat. Well, so-and-so said, folks, I've, I've made too many things online, put them into the lines about you thinking for yourself. Do what you want to do with your funds. If it's $1,800, if that's the only thing holding you back, then it's not for you. If you're still talking about the price at this point, it's not for you. It's no diss. It's just not for you. You need to move on and go get something like a 7A or a 7. You can get really good quality photos with those devices too. And you get same stellar, stellar software and it costs a lot less, period. So it's your man, Jerry. Hope you guys enjoyed camera review and discussion about the Pixel Fold from Google. They have laid down the tracks, folks, and it's going to be people playing catch up at this point. I'm ready for Oppo to come over here. I'm ready for OnePlus to bring their version of a folding device. I'm ready for this style of folding device to go ahead and take over because it is fire. It's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.